All right, you guys know that I like all the activity and health and fitness trackers and things like that. And, and my wife actually, she's come around. She's been wearing one lately and she wears it. She wears it a lot and she has an actual fitness tracker. Not like me where I wear like an Apple Watch primarily. And she likes it because, you know, she doesn't have to charge it very often and she can use it as a sleep tracker, etc., etc. But it's been, you know, giving her a little bit of e eh lately, a little bit of hiccups. So we decided that we were going to look for another one. Luckily for us, a Casso, these guys right here, Casso, uh, reached out to us and said, hey, uh, would you like to try out our fitness tracker? And I'm like, hey, your, your timing is impeccable. That's a big word for me. Impeccable. Yep. So I said, yeah. So let's take a look at what's in the box and uh, see what we think of it. All right, guys. So this is the Acaso Fitness Watch Health Band, whatever you want to call it. It says Acaso on here. Let's see what it says on the back. Uh, made in China, of course. Acaso Fitness Tracker for kids, women, and men. Just so you know. Product specs. Fitness tracker screen is 0.96 inches. It's a 90 milliamp hour battery. It's got IP67 rating for the waterproof. Uh, dimensions, just so you know, 253 millimeters by 19 millimeters by 12 millimeters. And packaging list for what's in it is the physical fitness tracker and the charging cable. We're gonna break this video down into, let's say three sections. Three, three sections. And that's going to be, we're going to just check to see what's in this, kind of fit and finish, take a look at it, see what we think, you know, the standards. And then what we'll do is we'll pair it with my wife's phone, because she's going to be the one that's going to be wearing this. And then part three, which will be the final part, is we'll come back in a couple days, which will be just for you like that, after my wife has had a chance to wear it for a while and see what she thinks. Nice and simple. Yeah? Sound good? It's a plan. We are going to open this, and of course, I need a knife for that, so hold on, let me find it. I got a knife in here somewhere. Knife. Okay, so, nice and simple. Acaso. You know, and I'm gonna, just while I'm opening this, I've been using the Acaso action cameras. The V, what is it, V50 Pro and the V50 Elite. Good stuff. And with riding season for me, especially, coming up, I like to mount action cameras to my helmet. And I'm pretty excited to try these, so on there. I'll put a link up there if you're interested. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Ow. Back comes the knife. It's happening. What's in here? What is in here? Ready? The reveal. Okay, so that's it. That's it, that's all that's in the box. All right, quick reference guide from Acaso. What does it say? What does it say? Main. Casing, sure. OLED display, OLED display screen. Actually, that's gonna be nice if it's OLED. Uh, touch area is near at the bottom, which is pretty standard for most of them. Watch strap, charging metal on the back, light sensor, sure, and the style of clamp. You do have, if you look up here, it's a little color, right? You do have the uh, QR code to go get their application. You also have it on this page as well. But I do like the fact that they've even gone to the point with here, putting it all the different screens that you can go into to talk about the different features of it, right? So what it's gonna look like in sleep and the find phone and stopwatch and countdown and turn off and heart rate and calories and steps, run for your sport time. That's good. Let's take a look at it. This is the charger part. Now we see this kind of charger a lot actually. I'll just bring this up for you guys. So it's this kind of charger. Uh, I have mixed feelings about these chargers. They're, they're, they seem good, but my only thing, and I have to say I do like one of our other fitness bands, maybe a little better for this, was these pins right here. Sorry, you can see that. See these pins right here, these ones? One of my other ones, you know, we had this actually in our bag because we were traveling for charging, and whatever happened, this pin just it got bent in. And I don't even know what hit it or what did it. So I was like, well, now I can't, can't even charge the watch. That was no good. Well, that's nice. Again, fairly standard. There it is right there. I'll take this little protective screen on it so you can see it nice. It's a nice size. 
it, like it feels really small. This is the black one, of course. I believe they have it in different colors. I think my wife will like this one. It's it seems a little. I don't know what I want to say. Just small. Like it's it's got a it's got a small like it's. I want to say ladylike she, for her because hers that she's wearing now is a lot more bulky. So she, I'm pretty sure she'll like this. Nice little accent on the back, which is cool. That's all right. And this standard style sport band. That same kind of material that you see almost all sport bands in. Even the Apple Watch has a sport band like that. Uh, on the back here is going to be your heart rate sensor. So that should be all right. And there's those, see those are the charging pins. So right there, right? Those are the pins. So this would, let's give you a little, oh yeah, it kind of says, don't do it this way, but do it this way. Okay, so right like this. Don't do it like the top, do it like the bottom. Okay, so anyway, it says that you want to come in from the bottom like so. So this would go like this, I'm guessing, like that. So that's how you would charge it. The other thing I like, and the other reason I'm not a huge fan, and you know what, of these, this style, and I get it, it's, I, I have a couple of these now, so even if I break this one, it's not gonna be that big of a problem. But, is that, you know, because of how this goes on, I'll show you again down here, right? It's easy to be kind of misaligned. You put it on and you're not really paying attention and all of a sudden it's not charging. Her other one, the strap comes off here and there's a USB, so you literally just plug this into the computer. So there's, there's no failing on that. You plug it in and you're golden. We're going to continue this video in a second and we're gonna bring up her iPhone and connect it to it. But first, before then, I'm gonna go charge this to make sure it's fully charged. So we'll do that and then we'll be back. All right guys, stay tuned. All right guys, so we've got my wife's phone right here. We've got the guide. So we're gonna go grab the uh, app. So let's just do this right here. Should be nice and simple. All right, let's see, bring up the camera. Cool. Download. Yep. So she must have had a band before that had used this because uh, it basically said we had downloaded it before, but didn't have it. So hopefully that's not gonna be an issue when we open this. So open, so it's called H-Band. Location when you're using the app, always allow. Let's do only when using the app. I'd like to send you notifications. Sure. I don't know, let's. Let's try to see if she's logged in. One sec, hold on. All right, so she has an account. We're back in and running. So first thing that we get, which comes up, which is actually excellent, and this is on an iPhone, so it'd be a little different if you're connecting this to an Android, is you'll see that it prompts the health app and if you would like to send this information to the health app. Now again, this is a huge perk to start seeing a lot of these third-party apps and fitness trackers and things like that actually utilizing the health app because I find if that feature is not there, I, I, I automatically am like, no, I'm not interested. So we're gonna turn all these on so you can sync active energy, sleep analysis, steps, walking, and running distance. So that is good, right? So we're gonna allow that. All right, so now it says not connected, click to connect device. All right, so click and it sees something, it sees two. I don't know why it sees two. Searching for H-Band in the App Store. Yep, press and touch. No, let's try the, let's try the bottom one. The one that said H-Band. Bluetooth pairing request. Okay, pair account, sure. Whether to open bracelet female notice, sure. Completed synchronization and we're synced. All right, that should be good. That went away. I haven't used this app much, so I'm learning as I go. So same kind of deal, today, yesterday, two days ago, no steps reported, which seems fair. This is this. Uh, let's go into up top here. This would be your analysis of all your sport, sleep, heart rate, etc., etc., for week, month, year. We'll go back, because we have nothing in there as of yet. We go down, so you'd have all your information also on this. And it has, for the ladies, menstrual period so it actually has something to and this is not something magical it is something that you have to input so you know when when it starts when it's ending and then what happens is this is going to be able to give you notifications based on previous history as to what it's doing 
So it says, please insist on wearing. That's kind of funny. Uh, let's go into settings. So in settings, we will have the device. Yes, shows the device here. So we tap on it. Do you want message notifications? If so, you can turn all these on. So you have phone calls, SMS. Let's do SMS for it. WeChat, GQ, Facebook, not GQ. It is Q, Q, Q. But if you wanted something from GQ, maybe touch base with that magazine and see what's going on. See if they can make it happen. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, Line, Instagram, Snapchat, Skype, Gmail, and other apps. So actually, this one's got a lot. A lot of these fitness trackers that I've seen, again, the third party ones, don't usually have that many. So kind of neat to see things like Gmail and Facebook. And But I'm just going to put the SMS on there. So if I send her a text, she should be able to get that. Secondary setting. I'm not even sure what that means. Heart rate alarm. Let's do that. So setting a heart rate alarm. Turn the wrist. So that is so it wakes up on a turn. Pair device is done. Uh, switch setting. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, wear test. Heart rate automatic monitoring. Yes. Find cell phone if you want to turn that on. Stopwatch function. And a disconnect reminder. Disconnect reminder can be cool if I think this is what I think it is, which means that if your watch and phone disconnect from each other, you'll get a little reminder that says, hey, they're not linked to each other because that might be important. Uh, take photo if you so choose. A countdown. Reset your password. Settings of main interface style. So you can come here and you have two. So style one, right, which will look like that and style two, which will look like that. Now the bonus of going into the style is this is proof that this is paired, right? Because they physically change. So we're gonna set it to this one because I think that's bigger and bolder. She can change it if she wants. Firmware upgrade, so let's check. This version is the latest one, so we're good. And clear data, which we're not gonna do. Uh, unit settings for us, we have it set as metric. Uh, change theme if you so choose. Again, you only have a couple. We're going to leave that alone. Sport goal, and this is where you can choose. So 7,000 steps. Sleep goal, 7.45 hours. Seems reasonable. Third-party platforms, rerun, etc., etc. Now, if I tap on running here, this would bring it up. So br GPS movement, bracelet movement. Now, I don't believe this actually has a GPS in it. So it is going to require your phone to be nearby because it'll probably be the phone that is pulling that GPS information. So please make sure that you would start it, as far as I know, from here. Yes, I think. If I'm wrong, please let somebody tell me that, which would be good. As far as we can see, that is kinda, kinda everything here. Now, in regards to this lovely little band, we have it on, tap it, just go to sport, tap it for your steps, tap it for your kilometers, calories, beats per minute, hours, and this will power it off. Yes, so I'm gonna do this actually. Let's let's put this on up next to my Apple Watch because I am curious to see. Let's just, she's gonna get a false representation on her band here, but so be it. That's actually a nice strap, That's, I like that. All right, so we're gonna bring this down here. Yes, okay, and we're gonna go I'm gonna bring my Apple Watch up here. We're gonna bring this guy. Ready? We're gonna go heart rate, heart rate. Now, this one's up a little high on my arm, so 69. Oh, see, 69, 69. Boom! That's good. So I'd say heart rate is fairly accurate. Not quite as bright as my Apple Watch, but, you know, $600 Canadian and, uh, $30 American, so there's a big difference. But that's that's pretty much dead on. That's all right. That's that's good, right? And it's a nice. That's a bright screen. I got like bright lights on me right now, and that's that's shining okay. All right, guys, we're gonna uh, let the misses wear this and see how it works, and we'll be back to you again for you guys right away. But for us, a couple days. All right. So we're back after about. Well, I'm back. Mary's here. <laughs> After you've been wearing it for almost probably two weeks now, hey? Uh, I think a little more. Actually, actually more than two weeks? Yeah, I've had to charge it twice. So. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't wear it, so we knew that Mary would be the one that would be trying this, so I figured we'd bring her back in to uh, see what she thinks of it. So, after two weeks. That's good. Nice. <laughs> there you have it. 
A full review from Mary. <laughs> it's nice. So well, it's good, you, I said. It's good. <laughs> so, we said two two charges. Uh, yeah, like I just charged it again for the, uh, the second time. So it lasts you a full week? Yeah. On a charge? Yeah. Right. Anything negative to say about it? Like what things that maybe you wish it had that are weren't as prominent as you'd like to see maybe? Um, the only thing, uh, and it's more I think with me than necessarily the watch is the I get my text messages show up but I can't read them they're a little too small and they disappear <laughs> how are your how are your glasses I need new glasses right um, so maybe that's not a that's, that's why I said that's right. more me so it's hard to say but it is small for sure it is fairly small oh, yes yeah, sure and it just doesn't stay up for very long and then it's gone is that something that can you can change it all? You know? I'm not sure. I haven't okay. checked that. Possibly. But we can always look. I can also just look on my phone. Sure. Right. Just, but it's, it's, a nice... good, it's a nice notification that yeah, you have something. I just get it. The, right. It buzzes and then I look at my phone. That's really even with me and my Apple Watch. It's really just a nice to know that something's there. <clears throat> right. Right. Sleep stuff. Is it doing sleep things? I know you like to track sleep information. Yeah, it tracks the tracks the sleep fine and it shows it in the uh, app. in the app when you sync it in the morning. Right. Uh, it does have a workout thing as well. I haven't been to the gym in oh. a couple of weeks. Yeah. So but I know that I had tried it on before I let you try it on and I actually put them both on together with my Apple Watch and the heart rate was exactly the same oh. as what the Apple Watch was pushing. So it seems, <coughs> it seems like it should be doing its job well. Usually the Acaso stuff is pretty decent. So comfortable though, like it's... It is, yeah, I like it. It's slim. It's slimmer than the other one I had. Yeah. Uh, and it fits nice on my wrist. The other thing I get is noti I get these period notifications and it's a little too many notifications so that may be something i can adjust yeah. but it's like you know the countdown to when you have your period the countdown to when your period's over the countdown to your ovulation how many days you're ovulating i'm like okay i'm good no i guess <laughs> some that would people be may good. want all that information right and i don't need all that information right but i would think maybe if you're younger as well when you get something like this maybe you're just it's not as something that you're as aware of or it'd be nice to know that it was coming maybe I would think that as you get older you kind of know your schedule more yeah well I mean the ovulation's good if you're trying to get pregnant or trying to avoid getting pregnant right good to know I guess sure but yeah I'm, I'm guessing I can probably adjust the settings I haven't looked at it so, yeah. so. but overall it's good bright it's bright it's easy to read yeah. except for the text size and except for the text size your bad eyes yeah yeah Eight hours of sleep last night. There you go. That is good. Eight <laughs> hours of sleep. All right, guys. That's it. It's the best review ever on the internet, <laughs> right here. That's why we bring in these guests, the guests, the experts, right here, to tell us about it. Real life, real world. All right. That's it. <laughs> well, if you want one, we're gonna leave a link down below so you guys can go pick one up because look at it. Stylish, lovely. And if you wear glasses that probably work, maybe the text would be fine. It's possible. It's possible. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Later.